Look at this, another of those amazing three steps, scriptures that will change the course of your life. Three steps to victory. And it's Romans 10 verse 17. And this is what it says. So then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. You want a faith? You know they say faith moves the mountain <clears throat> in Mark 11 verse 23. The faith that you are looking for, you want to be this man of faith, woman of faith. If you have problem with your faith, it's saying here, check out your hearing. Move a step back and check your hearing. And if your hearing has a problem, you step, take another step back and check your relationship with the Word of God. So this is one of those three steps to victory scriptures that I've been looking for the past five days and I'll be looking for the days to come. So it says here, you start with the Word of God. You start with the Logos, the Word of God, the written Word of God, Logos. When you start with that, you invest in that, you meditate on his word day and night. Like Joshua 1, 8 says, this book of the law, you shall meditate there in day and night. But that meditation of the word of God will affect your hearing. And once you are hearing, Rema, that's when you receive a Rema word from God, inspiration word from God, the hearing, will influence your faith so no hearing no faith no word of god no hearing you may as well say you know if i don't have faith possibly i don't have hearing i'm not hearing if i'm not hearing my relationship with word of god is uh, can be called into question that's amazing so you remove the word of God, you, you, you remove the word of God from your life, you can say you have removed your ability to hear God. And when your ability to hear God is gone, you have removed your ability to have faith. Cut of three steps process. You sort out your relationship with the word of God then you'll be able to hear God clearly, like most people say, I cannot hear God. I don't know what I need to do. I don't know how I'm gonna to respond to this. Your relationship with the word of God is resolved as a first step, and that is receiving part. God is given unto you his word, it's written. You receive the word of God. When you sort that out, when you have relationship with the written word of God that's given unto you, that's the receiving part, then the activation part, that's where you receive uh, your hearing. Then you are able to hear his voice. Like he said, my sheep hear my voice. So your relationship with the word of God is given unto you. You receive that. Then you come to activation stage where you receive a word from God, rhema word from God. And when that is downloaded in your heart, the rhema word of God, then your faith will go over the roof. The next stage is easy because faith as small as a mustard seed can move the mountain. The Bible says faith is the substance of things hoped for. So you can easily hope for what you have heard or what you are hearing. So we easily hear what we've learned or what we have received from the word so we have been promised some things in the word and once we've learned them by reading the word we learn those promises god can use his word those promises to speak back unto us and then we have faith because god has spoken unto us we have an assurance we have substance of things hopeful so if you are not reading the Bible, you are limiting your hearing. And if you are limiting your hearing, 
you are limiting your faith. Three steps process. You receive, you activate by hearing, you perpetuate faith in your life, in every area of your life. Faith for finances, faith for, for health, faith for family, faith for children, everything. Faith for, you perpetuate, you release that faith into every area of your life. But it comes when you have relationship with the word and Rema word of God leading you and faith, which can be as small as a mustard seed. But as long as you've taken those three steps, and I can understand some of us are on stage number one, we're learning to relate to the word of God. We need to acknowledge word of God as word of God. And when we move from that, then we'll be able to relate to Rema word of God before we walk we, we live a life of faith. So it's Romans chapter 10, verse 17. And that's the scripture for today. If you've got any comment, I've got my YouTube channel, which is Faith Nibbles, where I give you small nuggets of faith, where you can go and make a comment there. And if there's any other scripture you want me to look into about these three steps to victory, let me know also in the comments below. God bless you. Have a nice day. Bye.